Hello everyone and welcome back to the lab. I recently saw an Acadia article about the simplest possible oscillator, which is basically a loudspeaker connected to a microphone, a carbon microphone in series that uses some kind of Larsen effect to make an oscillator. And I thought, yeah, well, I think I can make a simpler oscillator actually. Let's start with the speaker. This is just a speaker with a piece of wire connected to its terminal, and of course, if I attach it to a battery, it doesn't work. It just makes a pop. See? A pop when I connect, and a pop when I disconnect. Changing the polarity doesn't change anything. Pop and pop. That's because in order to create an audio sound, you need an oscillation, and for this you need AC current, and batteries, of course, provide DC current. Now, watch what happens, however, when I connect this battery to this speaker. And if I connect the battery in reverse, it doesn't work, it just makes a pop. But if I connect it this way, it oscillates. Well, I know what you're thinking now. Uh, there's probably some transistor, uh, uh, oscillator, some kind of stuff hidden in here, but nope, there's nothing. See, let's bring it up close. It's just a piece of wire. How does it work? Well, a loudspeaker works by having a coil of wire in a magnetic field. This is like north and south pole, or it could be reverse of a magnetic field. And of course, if you pass current through the wire, then depending on the polarity, let's say that for example you put positive and negative in here, then the coil goes in this direction. And if you reverse it, if you place negative here and positive here, instead the coil goes in this direction. Of course, the coil moves just slightly and moves the entire cone of the speaker, which is producing the sound. However, the connecting wires that go from the cone to the fixed part of the speaker also move slightly in this direction or in this direction depending on the polarity. Now, what happens if, instead of attaching the battery directly to the fixed connection on both sides, let's say that you have a battery, battery, you connect one side here, but the other side, instead of connecting firmly here, you connect it to a piece of metal which is basically just touching this wire. Well, if the polarity is right and the cone goes outwards, then in going outwards, it interrupts the connection. But then, of course, this makes it go back to its original position, making the connection again and creating an oscillation. How do you go about making one of these? Well, I'm glad you asked. You start with the speaker and grab some cable. One of the wires. You sold the straight to the speaker then you try to use the center of the speaker as opposed to you need to solder this one here to the center Can you take some piece of solid core wire and strip it? Then you place some solid on the wire. Keep it there till it's molten. And then you bend it to shape. I'm gonna bend it so it's in shape. You then bring a battery. Now it takes some fiddling. Get it right. That's right. A 
assuming this video actually ends up being featured on Hackaday, since I am a long time reader, I would like to pre-address some of the uh, usual comments that appear in the comment section. Is it a hack? Yes. And could have I done simpler with a 555? No.